Today's review is on another We Bear Bears Halloween special. It's Charlie's Halloween Thing 2, hosted by Charlie. Charlie tells four stories. First story, the Bear Brothers end up in the middle of a zombie attack when a strange meteorite crashes in the woods. All the animals have turned into zombies. Ice Bear turns into a zombie and refers himself as Zombie Bear. An alien arrives with an antidote, but Ranger Taves runs him over with her vehicle flying into him, and the antidote is ruined. I hope that uh, alien's all right. I hope he didn't die or anything, because once he was hit by the vehicle, there was no response. We didn't hear from him again. Darn it, Tabes. You made the alien drop the antidote. Now you guys are screwed. Tabes turns into a zombie after a zombie bee stung her. Get it? A zombie? A bee that turned into an actual zombie? <laughs> Grizzly turns into a zombie once Ice Bear bites on his head. Looks like Panda turns into a zombie, huh? No, but his brothers are still zombies as Panda serves them salads. But all they want is brains. So that's it, what? So I guess Panda figured that since the antidote has been ruined, I guess he has to get used to his brothers being zombies? Alright. In the second story, Grizzly, Panda, and Ice Bear, as the baby bear, stay the night at a creepy Scooby-Doo-inspired house for Halloween. There's also the similar Scooby-Doo-like chase scenes. Especially the one chase scene where the baby bears and the uh, monsters are all running through the doors in the hallway. It reminds me of that Johnny Bravo, Scooby-Doo, Bra Bravo, Dooby-Doo crossover where Johnny, Scooby, Velma, and Shaggy are all running through the doors in the hallway. And then all of a sudden, you see two Johnny Bravos out of nowhere as they're standing and looking. This Wee Bear Bears Halloween scene right here for the second story is similar to the Bravo Dooby Doo crossover when you see the two baby ice bears fist pumping each other. In the third story, the bears and Chloe try to watch a movie online for free until a troll virus hybrid haunts the bear's cave. And for the fourth story, Charlie finds a wishing machine named Zorhar, and he wishes to be normal so he'll be able to hang out with the bears. So he turns Charlie into a human being. And, you know, since Charlie is a Bigfoot, he really can't hang out with the bears like he wants to because if he shows up in person, well, people are going to freak out because he's a Bigfoot. And despite Charlie tr turning into a human, things still go wrong. The bears have no clue who Charlie is. So he keeps going back to Zohar for things to get better. But things continue to get worse. The best part was the Adventure Time cameo. Panda as Finn, Grizzly as Jake, and Ice Bear as the Ice King was the best. And you know how Ice Bear usually says his name and he says Ice Bear or whatever? Well, him as Ice King was priceless. Ice Bear as Ice King says, Ice King and wrong show. <laughs> That was genius. That was priceless. It was great seeing an Adventure Time cameo in We Bear Bears. Since I said before, We Bear Bears and Adventure Time's animation are quite similar. When it comes to the characters' dotted eyes and the way the characters blink their eyes, that's what you see in Adventure Time. And yes, We Bear Bears in, in regular show um, has similar animation as well, but mostly Adventure Time. Like I said, because of the characters and the dotted eyes and when they blink their eyes. But it was just great seeing an Adventure Time We Bear Bears crossover in the, the fourth uh, story. Finally, things uh, are back to normal. And uh, Charlie go gets to actually go eat some pizza with the bears. What would you guys think of the episode? Did you enjoy it? How about that Adventure Time cameo? Did you love it? Especially when Ice Bear, as Ice King said, <laughs> Ice King, your wrong show. Which made sense. Get it, Ice Bear, Ice King. 